Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back with very very interesting SQL problem. This problem was asked in one of the fintech company for the data engineer position. And this question is really good. You will learn lot of things along the way. I'm going to solve this step by step. And if you are in the phase of learning some advanced SQL, this 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 video will teach you a lot of things. Okay. Also, after understanding the problem, you should try it yourself. In the description box, I will put the create table and insert table statements. Okay, so let's understand the problem now. So we have this input table and this is output table. So what this table is basically, this table has some traits like you buy, buy or sell stocks. Okay, so on some app like Zeroda, stocks or Glow, right? So this is all the trade information of a stock. Okay, so this is trade ID. This is a trade timestamp at what time you traded something, right? This is a stock which to trade it quantity and price. Okay. In this problem, quantity column is of no use, but it is there. Okay. So the, here's the problem. Write is equal to find all couples of trade for the same stock that happened in the range of 10 seconds, right? So it is saying that we have to find all the couple of trades, right? Pair of trades like trade one and trade two, right? We have to check. Are they happening within 10 seconds? So for example, this happened at 10.105 and this is 10.0106. It means it is within one second, right? So yes, it is in the range of 10 seconds. So this qualifies the first condition. Second condition is the price difference should be more than 10%. Okay, the price difference between these two tra trades should be more than 10%. Is, is it more than 10%? Yes. So 20 and 15, what is the price difference percentage here? So percentage will be calculated by the difference in these two five divided by the first trade price, right? 20. So this is 25%, right? So it is 25%. This is why you are seeing this a pair of trade. This qualifies both the condition, right? So similarly, we have to find all the combination which qualifies these two condition. Hope you all, hope the question is clear. Also, it is saying output result should also list the percentage of price difference. So that, that is there in the output, right? So this is the percentage of price difference. Now that this difference can be positive or negative, doesn't matter. The difference should be more than 10%. It doesn't matter that, that the first state price is higher or lower than the next state price. It is just that the difference should be more than 10%. That's it, right? So this is an important thing to understand. Okay. So now if you understand the problem, go back. Uh, create table insert table take from description box and try it yourself i will try my solution okay so first of all what we have to do we have to find all the pairs right so we have to we have to write a query so that we have all the pairs with each other like trade one with trade two three four five six right and uh, similarly trade two with three four five six once we have those pair of combinations of trades then we can put these two conditions right right I hope that is clear. So it is a clear, clear case of self join because I will join this table with this join itself with this table itself and I will get all the combination, right? Also currently in this table, there is only one stock, right? So after solving the problem, I will add one more stock so that we can see the complete solution that even if we have more than one company in the table, we can still solve this problem. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I will say T1, I'm going to do a cell join, right? And I will show you how it works. T2, okay. Inner join. I'm doing inner join on 1 equal to 1. Basically, there is no join condition, right? So that every trade will combine with every other trade, okay? And I will put T1 dot trade ID, comma T2 dot trade ID, right? Also, what I'm going to do, I'm just doing a order by on t trade id Okay, let me run this and show you what is happening. Okay, so if you see trade one is getting joined with every other trade, right? Till here, from trade, trade one is getting joined with trade one also because there is no join condition. So each row of uh, table A is getting joined with each row of table B. Basically, each row of T1 is getting joined with each row of T2. Let me show you quickly how it looks like. So, select star from this and I will just 
run this statement two times. Okay. So when I'm joining these two tables without any condition, no condition, one equal to one is always true. It means trade one will join with all these trades, right? Again, trade two will join with all these trades. Again, trade three will join with all these trades, right? All the trades basically, not just this, right? So trade three will join with all the trades. Trade four will join with all the trades. So we will have six into six, right? Total 36 rows, right? So if I run this again, we have 36 rows. Now there is one problem here. One problem is trade one is getting joined with trade one, which we don't want, right? We don't want trade one should join with trade one. It is the same trade. So I want to compare trade one with trade two, three, four, five, six, right? So first condition is that, that where I will just remove what trades are not applicable, right? Not equal to this, right? So if I do this, I'm getting 30 rows, right? So those one to one combination have gone. Now another problem is if you see trade one is joined with there is a combination of trade one with trade two, right? Which is fine. But there is a combination of trade two with trade one also, right? Because each row is getting joined with every other row. So trade one wala row also got joined with trade two. And when it comes to trade two, that also going to join with trade one, right? So this also I don't want. So what I can say, I can say and the timestamp of first trade is less than timestamp of second trade so that this this combination will not come so trade one is let's say at 10 o'clock right trade two is 10 5 right so if i put this condition that t1 dot trade timestamp is less than t2 dot trade timestamp right so what will happen this combination will come trade one and trade two combination will come in the output right but trade two trade one this combination will not come because because i have said this condition t1 dot trade uh, timestamp is less than t2 dot timestamp so in that case those duplicates won't be there right so if i run this now okay so i have 15 rows only right so if you see trade one is joined with trade two trade three trade four trade five trade six right now trade two is not joined with trade one right it is not joined with trade two because trade two we have given this condition so it is only trade three onwards right similarly trade three it from starts on trade four so we don't have any duplicates we have the unique combination of trades also if you see after giving this condition i even don't have to give this condition because the trade time will be same right for the trade one trade one combination so i don't even have to give that so if i just run this that is it 15 rows right so this is the first step second step is i need to check these two conditions now right that the trade difference should be less than 10 seconds so for that i will put a condition and date diff right date diff i want in second right i'm saying t1 dot trade timestamp t1 dot trade timestamp comma t2 dot trade timestamp right so this is the first timestamp the lesser one this is the higher one should be less than 10 seconds right so if i run this now we will have even lesser records so we have only remain with seven records right fair enough let me put the timestamp also in the output this is my t1 dot timestamp and this is my t2 dot timestamp okay so if i run this again we have the seven rows now now we have to check the prices as well. So let's put the price in the output. So t1 dot trade t1 dot price comma t2 dot price. And let's run this query again. Right. 
ओके सो दिस इज ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन राइट ट्वेंटी थर्टी एंड एंड लाइक दैट ओके सो वॉट वी विल डू वी हैव टू फाइंड द परसेंटेज डिफरेंस सो फॉर दैट वॉट आई नीड टू डू आई विल ड्राइव वन मोर कॉलम एंड आई विल से टी वन प्राइस माइनस टी टू प्राइस राइट T1 price minus T2 price divided by T1 price, right? That's what we discussed. The first rate should be in the denominator to find the difference, percentage difference, right? So T1 dot price. Okay. Another thing is I said that it can be a negative or positive. So let's let's run this first. Okay. So I'm just going to multiply it with dot uh, one dot zero. Otherwise, integer by integer divided by integer will always be integer so that might create a problem so let's do this okay and i'm going to run this now so if you see this is 25% 5% 6% this no this is 50% right 60% let me multiply it by 100 so that it looks clear okay so there is a 25% Uh, difference. This is fifty percent, sixty percent, hundred percent, one hundred thirteen, six percent, zero percent. So if you see the price difference should be more than ten percent, right? So which means this will qualify. This, 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 this will qualify. These two will not qualify, right? These should should not be in the output. So first of all, I will what I will say. I will say take absolute value. Absolute means if it if it is negative, it will make it positive, right? So in that way. in that way i don't have to care about negative positive i just have to check if the difference is more than 10% so if i run this now see everything is positive right now i just have to make sure that this is greater than 10 right so i will just take this and put it in the where clause along with other conditions and is greater than 10 right and that is it that will solve me a problem so we had for five rows in the output we have five rows in the output okay so this is what we wanted in this problem another thing we want to do is what if there is more than what if there is more than one company right so let's insert some values so let me insert two values just i will say let's say trade one and trade two are qualifying right so i will take trade one Trade two, and let's say Infosys. Infosys, right? And I will insert these two values. Okay. And then what I'm going to do? Uh, no, these are trade five, trade six. My bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, let me take trade one, trade two as well from here, and let's put them as well. Infosys, okay. So these are going as trade one, trade two. In this, I will make it trade three, trade four, right? Now, what we have to do is, I will just make this join as this insert as well. And now, in the SQL statement, what I just need to do, I have to join on the company as well, right? so when i am do doing a inner join instead of doing 1 equal to 1 i need to just check within company what all the trades right so i will take the trade stock in the join condition right so let me explain you little bit how it works so i will say t1 dot trade stock equal to t2 dot trade stock right that's it so if i run this again i am getting the output right so what we can do we can take trade company also in the output so i will take t1 dot trade company trade stock so if i run this now we are getting six rows we are getting one one trade for infosys as well right the last one trade three trade four is similar to trade one trade two of it junction all so we are getting that as well in the output with the same values you see 2015 25 2015 25, 25 okay because we copy trade one trade two as trade three trade four for infosys okay so why i have to do this join because 
if you look at this table now let's start from and let's do it one more time okay so what i'm telling that join based on the trade stock as well so this trade one will be joined with all other trades of this company only i don't want to join with other this company right so that's why i have joined on trade stock only right so every record of this trade stock will join with every other record of this trade stock in this table right so whatever conditions i have given that timestamp should be greater than less than the other one so that will all taken care of but first join will be on trade stock so that we don't join trades of it junction for all with the trades of infosys right that will be wrong so that's why i have put this condition and everything else is same and it is working fine okay i hope this this problem makes sense and you learn something new do like and share this video if you like it thanks for watching have a good day